So, Father, right now we lift you up. We ask you, Father God, to be here, the Holy Spirit. Please be with us as we call out these things, these abominations, Lord. And we ask you to cleanse those that are truly wanting broken things off of them, Lord. We, we call you to help them. Fill them with your spirit, Lord. Fill those broken places. Heal those broken wounds. And we give everything over to you. Not my will be done. Not my words. But only yours, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Messiah. Amen and amen. Keep in mind that once your deliverance is done, if any of you are delivered, you must be aware that the responsibility is yours to keep your temple clean or you'll have more problems down the road. Here we go. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, we command all spirits of torment, spirits of lust, spirits of self-worth, spirits of fear, to come out now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Messiah. And we send every spirit to the dry places. We break every curse word, every curse thought, every enticement. We break it off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We break off every sexual attack, be it to the body or to the eyes or the lust, the flesh, we break it off. We send it back to the dry places from which it came with no means of access, no means of return. We break off the spirits of uselessness, the spirits of incubus and succubus. We break off the spirits of hallucinating. We break off the spirits of attention, of aggravation, we break the spirits of porno, masturbation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We break off the spirits of affliction, fornication, and lust. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We send all of those spirits back to the dry places with no means of return. We break off any generational curses that has come through the line since Adam and Eve and has brought in these intrusive spirits that try to destroy marriages, relationships, family. In the name of Jesus Christ, we break you off. And no means of access, no means of return, we send you out to the dry places. We break off feelings to do utterly harm or temporary setting of excitement in the name of Jesus. We break off the spirits of the hormones, the glands, the prostate, sexual encounters. In the name of Jesus, we break them off. We command them out now in the mighty name of Jesus. No means of access. No means of return. You cannot hang around. We break off the feelings of restlessness, feelings of boredom, divination, mystical sensations, witchcraft, harlotry, mind and feelings of inadequacy, spirits of performance, spirits that resort to prostitution, harlotry. We break off all these spirits, all the spirits that cause people to resort to the internet and hide their feelings behind the internet. We break them off in the name of Jesus Christ. We command them out. We command them to go right now to the dry places. We break off the spirits of lifelessness we break off the spirit of feeling not fulfilled, rejection, hurt, and not being loved, feelings of self-worth, spirits of rejection, 
spirits of hurt, spirits of being unloved, the Jezebel spirit. So we break off the Jezebel spirit, the sexual comfort, the factual comfort control, the spirit of domination over a man or man over a woman and leaves men or women feeling frustrated, overbearing, or lets things build up as they have did. We break off these feelings of incubus, succubus. We break off ungodly relationships. We break off death, destruction, misunderstandings, confusion. We break off the attacks that would come against marriages, sexual relationships, things that would try to come in and block intimacy and the way God wants the marriage bed to be fulfilled. Lord, we just thank you right now. We thank you, Lord. This is going on right now. Thank you, Lord. We break off and command all spirits out. Spirit of Antichrist, spirit of Balaam, out. Spirit of Moloch, out. Moloch tries to abort destinies. Lord, we thank you for this right now. We are going to clap and give praise that chains have been broken. Spirits are broken and gone in the name of Jesus Christ. They cannot return. Their attacks, plots, plans, curse words, chantings are broken now with no means of access, no means of return, with an eternal eviction notice of no trespassing, every word spoken, every piece, anything that's going on right now that is demonic right now, right now in the mighty name of Jesus, it's made null and void. They have no power. We trample you under our feet. Amen. I want to go back over. If any of you have been delivered, I praise God for it. I want to go over a couple things. Men and even women, you need to keep close attention to your body. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. You may find that there's a lot of people that have been molested. They've been used in an unhealthy way. They've been looked at in an unhealthy way. Give it to God. He wants to heal the brokenhearted right now. If you're going to stand then you need to take everything to the Lord, your hurt, your wounds, whatever it may be. Some shocking news will come to people. There's things they don't know. Let me tell you, men, especially, and women, God is going to go on and expose it. If you get mad, you get upset, you have brought it on yourself. This is no time. This is a time of healing. This is a time we need to be praying for each other, but it needs to be addressed. Many families, even some we've counseled, do not speak to each other. They don't, even in relationships, they don't talk to each other. They don't resolve it, and that gives the enemy a place to hang things over our head. Because when we are born again and saved, we still will have the memory of sin because we're still and our bodies, we're not in our glorified body yet. We have to deal with sin. We have to deal with flesh. We have to deal with temptations. We have to deal with imperfect people. People that's going to let you down. God has given us a way to deal against temptation. He's also told us we have to be using what the gift of the spirit of control. We need to know how to control our bodies. When these things come up, it's very immature because we're not in line with what the Holy Spirit wants. And we give it just like a kid. We just go with the easy. And we're never satisfied. That's the way it is. The flesh is never satisfied. So today, if this video has helped anyone, this is not to judge anybody. I don't know who, what all is going on with everybody. But I can tell you this. The Spirit spoke to me. And said, do this deliverance video. You need to sit down. Come together and pray. And talk to each other. We got problems in the church. Big time. And God is not going to put up with it. I know right now the church is closing. And it's not just because of the COVID. God is removing the church. God is removing the buildings. 
It was not his design, but man. God is not in the buildings. He's removing them. He's closing them. His church is you, me. Yes, there are going to be house churches. That was God's first and only original foundation. But man just couldn't take it. Man had to go on with what they want. This is why people are having such a hard time with understanding scripture. Because it's man. And they make the word of God void and of no effect. We need to be going deeper and understanding spiritual when we read. It's no wonder that this is why I've been talking in my videos about all the voices, the judgment that's going to come over to people that are so busy with others and the world and the news and what Satan's doing. This is very serious to God. God's not playing anymore. And yes, we'll be rejected. Yes, a lot of people won't like this message. That's fine. I don't care. I don't care because my goal is to bring souls into the kingdom. And right now, Everyone needs to be going to the Lord for themselves. You're not going to learn everything on your own. You need to seek the Holy Spirit. And God will tell you what to do. God will tell you what to do. And if he is sending mentors, if he is sending, he will send his godly chosen ones that he knows are clean vessels. We have to be ever so careful now these days. We are representing a holy God. You cannot represent a holy God and put God's name to everything and be dabbling in sexual things that are going on and words and, and all these things and then try to hide it. It doesn't work that way. We need to pray for the men. We also need to pray for the women. If you are in a relationship or you're married or you even have family, I don't know, a mom or dad, please pray for them. Don't criticize. Pray for them. Pray that the Lord will heal them. Pray that the Lord will help them to talk and, and grow. Are you willing to lose your soul over some sin? That's the question you all need to ask yourself. Are you willing to allow Satan full control of your body? Because that's what's happening. Are you willing to allow your marriage to go sour? or your relationship, or family members, are you willing? And then smirk, smirch the name of Jesus Christ. Is it worth it? Is it worth it? That's the question that the Lord is leaving you with today. Are you willing to lose your soul over some sin? And I thank you for listening. I hope that this deliverance but I pray that it will cause you to think, look at yourself, examine yourself, and repent. Because it's going to get worse if you don't. And Satan will destroy you. I will tell you that. He is out to destroy you. And there will be a period of time coming very soon where there will be no grace. And we, there'll be no prayer because God will not answer it. There's coming that time. Please consider all that was said here and deliverance. You think you got the world by a tail. You think God thinks you're okay and you're wonderful. But that's not how it works. Is it worth your soul? Get counseling if you need it. Get something. Go to God with it and get counseling if that's what's needed. But get it done because time is going to come and it's coming quickly. And we cannot help others if we ourselves are in jeopardy and our garments are not white. You can't pray. You can't do anything unless you examine yourself daily. So God bless all of you. I pray with all my heart that as this was released, it will go up and out into the atmosphere. Share if you like. And until the next time, shalom and God bless.